Right, right. Episode 6 of the Jason Show. I'm J. Richard, your host. And today I have amazing guests. I have two guests today. And you are going to meet them. <clears throat> Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Jason show. Today I have two guests with me. It's another episode that is yet to be amazing. I promise you guys, I promise you. This is going to be awesome. This is going to be great conversations with two people that I love, two people that I cherish, two people that are part of our ministry, two people that I work with closely, uh, two people that I know, you know. So I just realized that I have so many people, either that we are taking through maybe mentorship program, maybe mentorship, or just people in general who are around me who are from the universities. You know, I've had some privilege, you know, to be in universities to do lectures and things like that. And so young people are, you know, very close to my heart. My ministry more specifically and the kind of work we're doing in Code 66 with JK and the people that we are we are with is more specifically driven to, you know, young people, the youth, you know, who are even involved in art. In fact, they're artists in their own respect, okay? So this is going to be an amazing conversation. Uh, today, we want to have a conversation about Christian work and Christian life, especially in, in the universities, in, um, in institutions of learning, uh, especially young Christians who are kind of like, you know, trying to figure out, you know, their careers, their education and things like that, and also making sure that they don't compromise in their faith. And that is what we're doing today. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, please leave them on the comment section. Tell us how we can be able to make this show interesting. We can make it much more vibrant uh, and, um, you know, better. Yeah. yeah. In fact, this was an idea from somebody, you know, that, you know, contacted me about, you know, just bring some sort of diversity. It's equal to mimi nam to moja, you know, like just bring some sort of diversity into it. So, yeah, you guys welcome very, very much. And, Yeah. <music> Here we are. Welcome, Manu. Thank you. Manuscripts. Yes. Is your full name Emmanuel? Yes, it is. That is better than Manu. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> wow. Yeah, That's... it is better than Manu, but I think I, for casual moments, I prefer Manu. Okay. Yeah. Do you consider this a casual moment or like an official moment? How, how are you feeling right now? Mm hmm. I'm actually feeling relaxed yeah. and ready for anything. So I'm not like, <laughs> like you know, the interviews, the interviews you go through and you must, and must have your yeah, hands exactly, here, yeah, don't move yeah. your head. Somebody is, is looking at your makeup. Yeah. Yeah, things uh, like that. Yeah, yeah but that yeah, time. I'm comfortable. I give me your time. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I give me your time. Yeah. Yes. Emmanuel means what? Emmanuel means God with us. Yeah, nice. According to how I was taught in class two. Class two. Yes. So Unless you, I don't you've think never it like changed. looked it up at all. Uh, I don't think it changed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, because he's still with us. Yes. Welcome, Joy. Thank How you. How are you feeling? Fine. I'm not going to be too near. If people knew what happens when these cameras go off in the two of you, hey, wah, 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 wah. I kept on asking you before the interview, like, are you ready? Are you ready? And you kept on saying, Students are never ready. Students are never ready. Yeah. Ah. What do you think about that? Students are never ready. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and that's like the, the main point of education, they're supposed to be ready. I asked her the same question, she didn't answer. Where she are they ready? You're supposed to be ready. Thank you. As a Thank you. Supposed to be ready. Yeah. Yes. Okay. When when you used to have exams yeah. in school, yeah. when did you used to put your book away like before the paper? See when the teacher says, I said you put your books away. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you put the, your books away. Five years yes. you're not ready. No, you are, you're ready at that moment. What? When, when it's like just the, doubts. Yeah, it's just doubts, right? Yeah. yeah. You, feel you're really you just ready. need to do some confirmations. 
who knows man at, at, at this point this education system is just yeah. just messed actually, up actually that's yeah, the point at this, at this point because like you're supposed to like be ready to for exams cram. way before <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah like most of the time it's like you're actually cramming, yeah, cramming just for the exam like after planning. the exam is still yeah. if i asked you the same question yeah. Yeah. okay maybe not you me if you ask me the same question <laughs> you're gonna be like bro. Uh, uh, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is interesting how we like just started this conversation and you're already in school <laughs> um, you know, yes just to know like the mm-hmm. uh, the main theme of this whole thing so um, welcome manu welcome yeah. joy Thank you. you are my honored guest Glad on to this be here. episode six uh-huh. I'm so happy. I just, I just feel like I can just sit here and just like you know, you're so I know right like like I'm just, I'm just so excited. I'm just, I'm just so excited. I'm just, I'm just so you are from St. Paul's University. Yes. And you are from Egerton University. Mm-hmm. You're still in school, right? Yeah. Are you still in school? Yes, I am. You're still in school. Yeah. Like right now. I'm a mifunga. Uh, uh hey, deferred. Nime defer for some time. I took some time off Kwanza. Yeah. Uh kufikiria maisha like just to Uh, to decide because I, I think I'm in the process of changing the course I'm doing ah. so I took some time off ah, and okay. I'll be going back wow tell me about that why did you not like the course you did uh, I did a diploma yeah a diploma in mass comm I love media that's yes. what I do every yeah. day yeah. So I did a diploma in mass communication and I finished I, I finished in 2017 mm. I graduated in 2017 so I joined degree mm. S- still doing mass communication so mm. I did one semester But then uh, after that I, I I stopped because of school fees and uh, and so during that time I started doing my own videos and everything yeah. and going to workshops and everything so mm. I discovered like my passion mainly is not in reading news here yeah. <laughs> I'm more passionate about creating that content yeah, and about about filmmaking in general But in that like part of the 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 course you're doing also it's actually taught as one unit like oh, okay. they are teaching ah, film see, production as one unit yeah. yet for me I want like everything to do with film like production the, the so thing. instead of doing because i already have a diploma in mass communication instead of doing a degree in mass mm. communication again mm-hmm. uh, let me do a, a, a degree in film production okay. so i'm in the process of change wow yeah. so that is why you deferred yes okay are you planning on deferring also <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you planning also on taking no, no, where no. you are by the way there's no, no turning no. back right now like listen there's no turning back right now which yeah. course are you doing right now um taking a course in uh, clinical medicine gs clinical medicine yes and uh no i did get a memo clinical medicine oh no oh no <laughs> Yes. And I'm not deferring. Yeah. I I can't afford to. You can't afford to right now. <laughs> yeah. 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 Is it because you've gone too far or this is exactly what you want to do? This is exactly what I always what okay, okay, not always what I was wanted to do. No things happen. Yeah. When I was What um, did you want to do when you were young? Ah, you want to know? Yeah. <laughs> At first I wanted to be a police woman because I knew it. I knew a soldier has to be somewhere in there. There's a soldier <laughs> somewhere in there. Yeah. yeah. Because my uncle was a policeman and yeah. I thought it was something you know, prestigious cool. yeah. and cool. And you know that the like Oh, you saw your home. uncle and you're like, you know, yes. I'd like to be that. And he had a car. Ah. Wow. So you knew if you car, want a car, I'll it comes cool. with being a police. I'll yeah. have boots uh-huh. and I'll have mm. nice uniform. Oh. Uh-huh. Okay, so, then it changed yeah. because I realized they also need money in the picture. Yes. And I wanted <laughs> to be a tout. Because they carry money in their hands and <laughs> Wow, wow. All this while I just realized something about you. All this while it was it was always about money. Yeah. That was really my mom tells me this thing. Yeah. No, you're so small and mm. you want so many things. Yes, yeah. And then all of a sudden you realize ah They, they like they used to be an engineer around our place mm. our home yeah. and everyone like respected him so and he had money I not not really money but respect uh-huh. so which like, came from money I, 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 <laughs> I, I want to be an engineer yeah and then I want to make it more sophisticated I want mm. to be an aeronautical engineer uh-huh. yeah, and then realized okay. hey, I'm not a machine person so mm-hmm. so when I got to class 5 Science just fascinated me. So the uh, last of my nerves. Yeah. Science just and said I want something that is going just to keep me just like yeah. excited yeah. every mm-hmm. day. And, and, and then and science you know, science, when you start your science about teeth, 
Mm-hmm. That's in class four. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. in class five, don't quite remember. Mm-hmm. Then class six, you get into the reproductive system and yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. And seeing how the body worked then mm-hmm. was just so fascinating for me. Mm-hmm. I wanted to know more. To know more, yeah. Yes. Okay. What's, yeah. What's, what's, what's this thing yes, that yeah. carries mm-hmm. us every day, yeah. you know? It was this so fascinating. And mm-hmm. from then, I wanted to be a doctor. Wow. I just did not know what exactly to do, but I want. I knew I wanted to be in the field yeah. of medicine. Mm. So yeah. So when um, one of my teachers realized it mm. that I really wanted to be a doctor, he started like extra pushing for it. Yeah. So he decided mm-hmm. to be calling me neurosurgeon. So ah. he just put the mm. idea inside my head. Ah. But now when I got to class six, mm. um, my mom started getting sick. Mm-hmm. And I think it pushed me you even more, yeah, yeah, yeah. to want to get in the field. Not necessarily so that no one else suffers, mm-hmm. but because I really wanted to know what's going on. What's going on? Yeah, inside. because mm-hmm. it, and also to help. Yeah, it's frustrating yeah. when you see mm-hmm. someone like is mm-hmm. in pain and in and out of hospitals, and they're put in white coats saying things and mm-hmm. prescribing things, and you really do not know what these things are. So I really wanted to understand yeah. what's going on. So from there. I have not changed. Wow. Mm-hmm. Since class five, I've always okay. Of course, we start off neurosurgeon because everyone wants to be a Ben Carson. <laughs> yes, of course, yeah. Especially yeah. after you read the book. Have yes. you read the, the oh, book? Uh, Dude. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I read it when I was in high school, and I was like, I think I can do this. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, but then over time, we just you know. You just get to understand where yeah. you really want to fit yeah. in, mm-hmm. and now when you get in the field itself, uh-huh. now you really get to yeah. know where you're fitted yeah. for. Yeah. So yes, I've wanted to do this for the longest time possible, yes. and also I won't defer because of the time and energy I've put into you're this. Pushing it, Goodness. Yeah. Ooh. I need a vacation. That's true. <laughs> I can, I can, I can yeah, feel the pain can from, feel from, from afar. Of, <laughs> I need a vacation. You, you, you two have interesting stories because mm-hmm. you figured this out a little bit earlier. So it has been easy for you. Yeah. You're figuring it more like right now, even mm-hmm. more in depth. Yeah. Uh-huh. To you. Yeah. And that is the story of our lives in a way, right? Like we, we don't always have to like figure it out the first time. Mm-hmm. And even if we and even if we do, things might still change. Mm-hmm. For like for example, you knew this is what you wanted to do, like yeah. mass communication and all yeah. that. Mm-hmm. And then like you started doing some things and you're like, Okay, mass communication but not really like mm-hmm. You know, like the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, like there's some, good. like there's something specific, specific that there's yeah. a specific target that I want to hit. Yeah. The, the same with you right now, right? Yeah. Like you, you don't want to like become like a general practitioner, right? Yeah. Like there's a specific thing like you're targeting, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, uh, in that whole journey, we get mm-hmm. to figure out exactly where we are. Yeah. But you have to give yourself to that journey. Mm-hmm. Like you have to start somewhere. Yeah. Like you don't just wake up one day and you're like, <laughs> hmm. Ni mesa wambike John Castle and I'm like. Yes. In my power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. What has been the most frustrating about your university life? Hmm. If, like, you look back, you're like, my goodness, <laughs> whether it's happening right now or that has, it has happened before, what has been the most frustrating mm-hmm. so far? Wow. So, I, I think for me, yeah. it's, it's lack of fears. Yeah. For example, when I started now the degree, mm. so in our school, like for example, per semester you are supposed to pay like is it eighty three to eighty five k per semester. <gasps> so like I, I actually went for only one semester, yes. and for that for one semester, instead of doing the six units that everyone is supposed to do, mm. I actually did three okay. because I could not actually raise the full amount. All right, and so like even till. T- till date, I've only done three units mm. in my degree mm. because of lack of fees and everything. Mm. So mainly it has been that lack of fee. Mm. And uh, I think that, that has been the, the, because <laughs> like people whom, uh, my friends mm-hmm. that we started diploma together with them, mm. we were in the same class in diploma, we graduated diploma together. Mm. They have already graduated. They actually graduated like last year, October. So that means I was supposed to actually graduate last year, October. Mm. But here I am still in first year, first semester. How does that make you feel? Ah, it used to make me feel bad a lot. Like Used? Yes, it used. Not anymore? No. How did you go, go around that? Uh, because I actually, more so in our field, mm. this field of mass communication and journalism mm. in uh, media, mm. in this field of media, uh, I talk with my hands a lot. So, <laughs> yeah. So in this in this field of media, mm. many people are actually 
many many people concentrate with the theory with like, the theory yes, yes yeah with yeah. the theory mm. media law media which which is good mm. but now if you actually don't know like how to hold a camera yet you're doing mass communication don't know how to edit a video so later on that's when i came to realize oh wait even if i'm not in school i'm actually outside here yes. like doing it practically mm. so mm. like that actually made me feel ah, i'm at this ah, okay. end yeah. also you got a reason that, that kind of helps through that yeah. that moment what you got a reason yes. that kind of helped you through that yeah, moment yeah so that, that that made me to see that uh education is actually important and yes. i'm actually trusting god to go back to school mm. but that doesn't mean that i'm not important i'm not yeah. like <laughs> I'm <somebody laughs> yes, that, that, that i'm not important because i'm not in school right yeah. now mm. and also even not being in school helped me because for example last year january february march i got a scholarship yes. to go do film production now wow for three months wow. and this is now like this this is a place whereby you are you are being sent it was actually in nairobi you are given cameras you're told to go to kibera and go do this uh-huh, documentary yes. go to go to go to town go record we actually recorded a music video with, like nice. it was more hands-on wow and so mm. as much as i used to feel bad because mm. of lack of fees mm. here i am doing it practically mm. getting this short scholarship scholarships and mm. everything and so mm. that is actually what made me change my mind and stop feeling as if i'm uh, wow mungu wow. sawa like <laughs> how come that to home and you're just like suckling feeling sorry for yourself no telling everybody how life is so yeah, yeah, pathetic yeah. and actually, difficult actually even people who know manu they don't know that story yeah. because they only they always see manu creating videos and everything yeah. and they're like ah, da, da. Yeah. But behind that person creating that video the yeah. thing that is actually pushing Manu to create that video mm. like I, I I just love media every mm. day even when I wake up I'm just thinking about what's the video that mm. I, which kind of video will I do today what will I record today what will I tell people today wow. that is what's going through my mind each and every day as I'm waking up that's amazing motivation motivation usually comes from the things that you're passionate about yeah like you don't need like to wake up and, and start feeling motivated you know like <laughs> just, 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 or go yeah. listen to a motivational speaker uh-huh. and you're, now you that only lasts for a few yeah. hours yeah. you know and like it dies down right mm-hmm. what about you joy not finishing <laughs> <laughs> this guy <laughs> this guy is thinking about this situation at the moment you are like what if i don't finish like, yeah. yeah 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 it's it's frustrating you know you know you like um let's on us in third year yes. you know and you know next year is the no go covid ha! covid shot. no more school <laughs> and then you know all these restrictions yeah. this, like there's a whole lot yes. of whatever you used to do before mm. that you can't do now, do now yeah. simply because there's this thing mm. and this prolongs the like the stay in school mm. the more so like what you probably probably thought about like what you thought would be your probably life span in yes. school yeah keeps on expanding. Mhm. Yeah, you know, I mean there's there is no there is a high corona arise we're not mm. going to do this right yes. now. Yeah. Oh, you'll do your exams next year but six. Yeah, somebody <laughs> 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 yeah, but six. It's really <laughs> like that. So, mm. Yeah, not finishing. Mm. It's kind of frustrating but oh. Well. But that is like a last year or last year but one thing. No, no. We've had strikes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like the, there was oh, a chest yeah. strike. There's always something was, that is always was making me feel like that. There was a chest strike. Yeah. That was for the lecturers. Yeah. Then there was a doctor strike. You no know, lecturers are doctors. Mm. So it was like an extension. Mm. You know that lasted for about six yeah. months. Mm. So like that whole, whole period of time, most of the time mm-hmm. we didn't learn. Then now comes the pandemic, which had us at home for an entire year. An entire academic year. Mm. An entire Please, okay. Do you need like some tissues to get ready? Ah, but this time, yeah. my God's grace, yeah. the president decided to get to stay, so... Yeah. It's kind of frustrating, you know? Yeah. When you're like looking forward, mm-hmm. like still really looking yes, forward yeah, yeah. to be in the field, but yeah. then... Wanza kufanya sasa kazi hizi. Something is this something keeps on pulling you back. Yeah. That's that's mm-hmm. like kind of frustrating at times. Anybody can jump in on on, on this question. Um when when did you all get born again? Mm-hmm. Or when did you all like get serious in your faith? Mm-hmm. Most of us usually don't know really when we were born again, <laughs> you know. We're kind of like raised in a Christian family. Yeah. Like I know you for example and you too, right? Mm-hmm. Kind of like raised like in a Christian setup. 
until you know it gets it becomes nominal it becomes mm-hmm. like a normal thing yeah and then later on you kind of like become very serious about it like you know you all two are like serious mm-hmm. about your faith but where did it like hit you okay this is a serious thing mm-hmm. you know my salvation is a very serious thing this yeah. is this is the real world you know if i die right now mm-hmm. and i don't have jesus yeah uh it's it's a serious thing oh yeah so i think for me uh my dad is a pastor yes just as you said uh, we are raised in christian family so mm-hmm. my dad is a pastor and so when i was young for, for me i believe because my dad like my dad prays mm. like he used to pray waking up at uh, maybe it's five or four mm. he's praying while we are sleeping so wow. for me i remember that time mm. i knew i'm going to heaven direct like that that's what i used to know yes. i'm going to heaven there because my dad is always praying for me yes. and i knew i'm i'm saved because i used to go to church to yes. do memory verses and mm. everything but now in 2015 i was in form 4 mm. there was a conference in church mm. and so that's the day i came to understand about the holy spirit and to understand to understand salvation to understand mm. about the holy spirit and hey, funny enough mm. it was on my birthday week mm. my birthday was the other day it was on my birthday week yeah. uh, that is april and so from from april 11th to 16th yeah. so the conference was actually that week mm. and so let's say i actually got born again in april 13th then my birthday was on april 15th mm. and now my dad like i came home and i told my dad oh dad but I, i understood about the holy spirit and mm. we were prayed for in church mm. uh, i received the holy spirit i spoke in tongues and everything mm. and then he was like oh wow that's good mm. yeah. and then so my dad asked me and so what do you know about baptism and everything mm. and so i told him ah i also told him what i understand about baptism mm. and so the next day april 16th mm. my dad took me to another river mm. bahati there yeah. and he, but he baptized me now the next day <laughs> was like ah you, you good ah, okay you go with what it come up from nice that nenda mahali so it was on a saturday and i'm yeah today we are going somewhere mm. and so we went my dad and my sister as well and i was baptized by my dad mm. like he just took me to a river somewhere he used to baptize people <laughs> the three of us like akutumbukiza huko dali ndio haya emmanuel do you believe <laughs> <laughs> and he baptized me mm. And uh, yeah that's the time I came to understand about mm. Christ mm. personally now mm. when I was how old I was 17 mm. yes wow that's amazing that's an amazing story yes. that time that you just gave there because my birthday is on April 12th oh so Uh-huh. Yeah, your, your time at MPO kuna vile nilikuwa exactly yes, uh, <laughs> I was being born again somewhere <laughs> yes yeah, yeah. that's amazing mm. that's amazing uh, and you joy Ni amata bado yuko shua. And I don't have dates. I don't have dates but uh, considering I was also raised up in a Christian family. So it's been a thing that you know your mom pushes for. I'm going to send it to. Aha. Na kote sadaka. Eh. And you but the most funzo nini niambia Bible verse and stuff. But okay that was like routinely. Eh mm. uh, so much that um I think I think in my primary school class around from class 6 to class 8 i think mm. i was in charge of cu mm. uh-huh. but you know you don't like add, hadn't like quite grasp mm. what it was i was mm. just like working with what i had yes. uh-huh. then i uh, transitioned to high school and got into cu again yeah. still on the same yeah. <laughs> you know but uh it when i got when i cleared my fourth form mm. that's when i really would say i started to understand mm. the intricate no yeah the intricacy of the, the way Christian I, faith yeah, yeah. Mm. that that's why that's when it all made sense i mm. do not like quite have a mm. date to that mm. but then that period of time between form 4 and first year mm. there was a lot of change mm. yeah wow most people usually think that being born again is when like you make a specific prayer <laughs> You get it. Yeah. yeah. But I'm going to unpack that when we come back from the break. So yes. thank you very much you guys. You guys are amazing so far. Yeah. Uh today I have Manu and I have Joy with me. And these guys are amazing. They're so learned. They were learned more than me by the way. Nasikia ni kama wa. Tuzungumze sana about education. Yes, we'll be right back. Yeah. 
welcome back. I'm joined by Emmanuel, yes, which means God with us, and yeah. Joy, which means joy. <laughs> but then my younger sister is called Joy. Ah, <laughs> my goodness, my goodness, how beautiful! Yes, <laughs> yes, and she's your sister too. Yeah. When you say I got born again, right? Mm -hmm. You know, like it has to be. You have to be sure. You know, you made this prayer this day. This is mm. when it started. Yeah. And that is true. That is true. Mm -hmm. But for most people, not really. Though there's a specific day, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure when we go to heaven yeah. and you approach Christ, <laughs> you can say, this is the day you actually decided to follow me. Mm -hmm. This is actually the day. Mm -hmm. But it takes some sort of a journey. Because also, belief in Christ comes with understanding. Right? Mm -hmm. Like you need to understand who he is, who you are, and why you need him. Mm -hmm. And that may not happen in a day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get it. You know, but you may decide that this day is the day that I decide now to follow him specifically. You brought up in a Christian home, you mm -hmm. do good things, mm -hmm. you know, but you've not really trusted God, you've not mm -hmm. really trusted Christ, you've not really confessed your sins to him, you yeah. know, you've not put your trust in him. And as time goes by, you get into the understanding of the word of God even more, right? Yeah. And then, you know, uh, uh, one day you decide, you know what, uh, I think I, I think I should get serious about it. Or, or you start getting serious going to church mm -hmm. and praying and things like that. And, and it happens within that that time period yeah. so it it does not really mean that if you don't know the date mm -hmm. now uh you know <laughs> maybe you're, you're not, not sure yeah. or you need to say now exactly like i can also say like the same thing i can't remember a specific day i made yeah. a prayer but i actually know there's a time period that I actually got very serious with my faith yeah you know mm -hmm. so you're you're in the right place yeah you're in the right place mm -hmm. um how has it been being a christian in the universities, especially our universities, St. <laughs> yes. Paul's uh -huh. and Ijat University, Joy. For me, uh, as a Christian in a medical setting, <laughs> it's been amazing. Yeah. Because me being in a class or in a lab that was in Joro and now hospital here, it's like an everyday testimony of God's goodness. Like it's like getting a chance to peek into God. So you may see like yeah, handiwork. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that blows mm -hmm. my mind. Yeah. That blows my mind. Mm -hmm. Like that. I think the fact that I see it every day yeah. mm -hmm. just keeps me stronger. Uh, <laughs> by the day, because uh, okay. it's like every like whoa, wow, yeah. how mm -hmm. does this? Who mm -hmm. this is amazing. Yeah. You know, it just blows my mind every day and. And considering, okay, considering the fact that this kind of intelligence, as science would call it, mm. this kind of intelligence wants to be my friend, mm. that's just the most humbling thing. Mm -hmm. Now, that, now, that is just <laughs> this is enough for me. Yeah. It is more than enough for me. Yeah. So, um, with that said, I think that keeps you in terms. Yes. I don't know how to say this, but... Um, <sighs> What what has your uh, spe specifically your education? Because mm -hmm. there's another aspect we're going to get into, which yeah. is like the outward experience, mm -hmm. like the you know the experience now, leaving yeah. your faith outside there, mm -hmm. not on the things that you're doing. But how has that? How has your faith impacted the things that you're doing, or how how has the things you're doing yeah. impacted your faith mm -hmm. in school? I think more so how how my faith has impacted the things that I do, mm. just as you said about salvation is about mm. trusting God. Yeah. Now for me, I think, uh, as I said, hey, she. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. Uh, 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 oh, 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 Yes. <laughs> Do you need to go back to join for a second? <laughs> I'm okay. Yes, yes. Uh, so as, as I said yeah. uh, about uh, about lack of fees and everything, yeah. uh, like during this the the, the whole of this period, mm. like I've always had my trust in God that God is actually still going to come through Amen. at a particular point. Amen. So and that, that and and I believe yeah. He will, yes. and that is one thing that has actually been. Been, been been pushing me and been that, that that's what encourages me even mm -hmm. each and every day and that's one way i can actually say my faith has actually had an impact even in me being being in school mm. and also 
Yeah, like in some oh, wow, in campus. Yeah. You know there are many events that happen in yeah, campus yeah. and most of us who actually uh, love going to such kind of events, yes. maybe you're you're performing somewhere mm-hmm. and everything. Mm-hmm. And so most of the events that actually happen in campus you can if you actually for those of us who are born again mm. okay let me talk for mano mm. because i'm born again <laughs> yeah. because i'm born again most mm. of the, most of these events actually feel as if i'm actually alone mm. like i'm actually lonely mm-hmm. because i don't agree with what's happening, what's happening i don't agree with this kind of mm. secular songs uh-huh. that is one thing about mano mm. i don't agree with the secular songs and so that's what's actually happening Mm. in campus yes. and i cannot go tell people at ah no you should not play that song mm. or you should not do that you should mm. not do that and so most of the time for me i, I always feel lonely mm. but that's something that i actually embrace i embrace mm. the fact mm. that i feel i, I feel you, i'm you out feel of alone, place not lonely there's a difference alone <laughs> exactly <laughs> i feel alone yeah, yeah. yes and feeling as if i'm out of place yes. yeah considering like you are the only one who is not dancing indulging when in, in, yes in, indulging in, in the same yes, things that people yes. are, are doing mm-hmm. or maybe when we have gone to events we are in the bars people are just doing all sort of things in the bars and you're just mm-hmm. there with your earphones mm-hmm. looking at the zebras <laughs> at gilgil in the bar how many people in bars 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 Oh, bus. Okay. <laughs> bus. No. No. Bus. <laughs> in the okay. I was like katika no. bus. How in the bus. bus. Wait, in the school bus. Zebras, <laughs> bus. <laughs> I was like, yeah. bus. And you're just sitting there. What are you doing? There? <laughs> in the bus. <laughs> Dude, you're in the wrong place. Okay. Yeah. Don't even feel out of place. In fact, the people should be feeling out of place because you're there. Um, yes. Your faith and calls you to be in a certain way. Yes. And most of the places that you're in, in, in campus yeah. environment, they, they, they're just not in, you know, in, um, in the same in the same place like you yeah yeah, so yeah. that so has been a challenge eh? that, that that has been a challenge actually yes. because now mo- most of the time if uh f- for me i love being around people yeah i think i'm somehow an extrovert yeah. and so i love being around people yeah. and so now in these instances i have to be alone yeah. when they are doing some things <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah so i have to be alone in such instances yeah. Yeah. and uh, yeah that, that is something that has actually that is how campus i think has actually affected now my faith mm. in the sense that it has actually made even my faith to be strong mm. like if at all all this is actually happening around me yeah. and i'm still not falling for it yeah. then that means i'm actually even becoming strong and strong, and strong in my faith Amen. yeah i'm so proud man Joe. you're back yeah <laughs> you're back <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, back to you what yes. about you what yeah. about the, ex- the external experiences uh i'd say for some reason you know being in medical school you have like a lot of work to do and your time is just limited yeah. mm-hmm. so the amount of time you have to go out there is yeah. just it's just limited yeah. i see so that that also contribute mm. and also the fact that i am an extra i am extra okay extra clinically oriented hey. if that is a one <laughs> 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 okay point yes. is i okay you know like um most of the time you'll find like most of the free time you have in medical school let me yeah. see in my pre-clinical year that's first year and second year is from friday onwards up until monday so that's why i pull up to go to out have parties and stuff but now myself I happened to be involved in a number of activities that kept me busy because mm. uh, I was in martial arts. Mm-hmm. You know martial arts you have to go for Manu. training. Manu, <laughs> relax. Manu, <laughs> <laughs> you're safe, bro. You're safe, bro. <laughs> <laughs> to go safe, this is what you're going to do. Yeah. Yeah. I had to go for training yeah. and then um, I was also a dancer mm-hmm. in a group called Ebeneza mm-hmm. in, in, in my preclinical years in Jorah, that yes, is, yeah. and mm-hmm. it was a fashion group, so you have to go for training. Mm-hmm. I also had a group of friends, mm-hmm. poets, we used mm-hmm. to like come together and do stuff. So by mm-hmm. then, from Friday to Sunday, ideally your weekend is gone. Because yeah. <laughs> you're right. like, there yeah. are activities, you're like, you're yeah. busy then. And, and, they are, and they are more like, 
you know, uh, Christian based groups. All of them. All of, them. Are, yeah. okay, of course, other than the martial arts, yeah, of course, coming from the rural, but ideally, you say, I could say, Martial arts. You're like, ha! 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 Because I was 45, mm-hmm. really. But you know, there are places um, and times that you you can feel yeah. that you are the old one out here. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that makes me happy mm-hmm. because my life makes a statement. Yeah, hallelujah, amen. Because Very my life makes point. a statement. Yes. Like, um, it's it's not it's not odd that I'm odd. Mm-hmm. It's special mm-hmm. that I'm odd mm-hmm. because. I don't like merely fishing. <laughs> I, I, if, if I'm going to do this thing consistently, that means yeah. I represent something. Yeah. And when I'm doing it without fail, that means I, I like I have faith in what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. That means whatever, like however I'm living out my life is a statement by itself. Yes. And for some reason, it's going to speak to someone. Mm. I might not actually do something, mm. but the fact that I'm living it out this way, yeah. that would be a statement. Like your self. t-shirt right now. Oh, yes. Yeah. You, yeah. Hello. Yeah. Do you do you know about Jesus? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, you're making a statement. Yeah, you say something important, mm-hmm. and I like to echo it again. Sometimes we usually fall as Christians in whichever group we are in, mm-hmm. like you guys now in the university, and I get to meet a lot of people from the university, like you guys now. Of course. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, the reason why most Christians usually fall into sin, especially in this Christian in these uh, university places, is because they're just not busy enough. Mm-hmm. Also, yeah. yeah. Also, not yeah. not yeah. not the only thing, one but the, you know, yeah. one of the major things. Yeah. True. You know, mm-hmm. you're bored. You don't have something to do, which is interesting because you're in school, dude. You should yeah. be reading. <laughs> you know, like me koni kisoma, soma mboeka. Yeah. Me soma sikumzima. Really? Like you've been doing that? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You've been doing that. You've been reading the whole day. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, because if you have something that you're doing, yeah. then you really don't have time to engage in. You know. Things that you're not supposed to be doing. Supposed yeah. to be doing yeah. If like, like for example, you say you do a lot of you do a lot of you know video coverage right now, a yes. lot of recordings, a mm-hmm. lot of producing, a lot of acting, and all that. Mm-hmm. You really don't have time to go do da, do, uh, uh. or even think mm-hmm. of like you know I'm, st- I'm just so bored. Right now. <laughs> it's like you don't even have the time because like you have to, to do edit, that. Mm-hmm. you have to like do research. Mm-hmm. Right now you're doing a challenge, 100 videos, videos in 100, 100 days. days. You in day what? 76. As per the day we are doing this recording. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure by the time this is coming out in, yeah. in like a week or two, maybe eighty something. It would be eighty something. He does not have time, you know. <laughs> so so many people. Mm. The reason why they've kept their Christian life consistent is because they found things that they they can occupy. Yeah. You know that can occupy their mind, mind. also yeah. occupy their their time yeah. and their energy, yeah. especially the energy, <laughs> because the Bible says that you young men, you're mm-hmm. strong. You know, mm. that is why we, may, we need to serve the Lord because yeah. we, are, we are strong, strong. We have that ability. Mm. So that is a very important point. So yeah. if you are out there and you are kind of like struggling in the wrong groups, in the wrong with the wrong people, mm-hmm. get yourself busy in the right group. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, if you have your whole weekend planned out with you know maybe in fellowship or my Christian brothers and sisters hanging yeah. out, mm-hmm. that means at Okitoka Apple and you are now in this other environment which mm-hmm. you maybe you cannot avoid because you are in school. Yeah, in school, yeah. You are strong enough, mm-hmm. yeah. or you don't feel like you just have to be there because you don't have friends around, you don't have people, you know. Mm-hmm. So I think I think that's a very very important point. Yeah, true. What do you do when you are in a place and there are no Christians around, mm-hmm. and there's a chance, not a chance. There's an opportunity for compromise mm-hmm. in, the, in the universities. What happens? Mm-hmm. So There's a chance for compromise. Yeah. <laughs> like there always is. Mm-hmm. Of yes. Yeah. Uh, I think so we'll go on a break. <laughs> 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 yes? It, it's easier for me. Mm-hmm. It's easier Speaking mm. to what I believe in, because at the end of the day, if I'm going to make this one stupid mistake, it's going to want to break it. It's going to want to the last of my nerves. Mm. So I'd rather stick. And as I say, <clears throat> it's easier um, considering okay, considering the fact that you've been living this out, yes. that people have noticed. Definitely. Definitely, yes. Yeah. Is something different about mm. you. If you can't uphold this, 
Then who are you? A Pharisee. <laughs> a Pharisee. <laughs> Yes. A hypocrite, of course. There's a to compromise, but then I think this is a, this is a point in time where you get, like, not really proof, mm. but then you can say that it's possible. Mm-hmm. It's possible to be in a compromising situation, but still start strong. Mm. It probably will be hard. Yeah. It will be hard. Mm-hmm. Mm. But then the fact that it's still to that time, mm. it not only makes them stronger, mm. but they are growing, yeah. it makes you You're stronger. Strong, strong. Yes. Mm. So, just this stick there, mm-hmm. stick chilling. Mm-hmm. You, you don't have, some, like something as simple as um, copying the drops. Mm-hmm. You know it's wrong, it's yes. stealing. Mm-hmm. You do not steal, right? Yeah. It's stealing. Mm-hmm. Um, there's, there's, there's a reason why in school people yes. say degree me. Ah, go there. Degree me around there. Ah, okay. <laughs> you know that? Now you know. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> degree me around there. It, it's something so small and yes. it seems like something that will pass. Mm-hmm. But uh-huh. Over time, I have seen it get to people. Yes, that's true. And I, myself, I have never been able to do it. Mm-hmm. One, because I get freaked out. Mm-hmm. I, I will say one, because I'm a Christian, to be honest. Mm-hmm. One, because I thought of, what if I did 10? Yeah. And then, fuck! Oh, yes. uh-huh. <laughs> okay. That's it. Big yeah. degree. <laughs> Come on, then no snap. <laughs> that's Run. it for you. And then, secondly, um, that is a good motivation, actually. Yes, mm. yeah, secondly, yeah. and being a Christian, this is going to finish me. Mm. Because at the end of the day, I'll get marks, yes. And I realize it's going to be. And it's going to be a long time thing, because you'll be looking mm-hmm. at your degree. Oh, and you'll know. Like, this is yeah. not me. <laughs> yes. if, if anything, if anything, for me, at this point, I've decided every test, if I go to a class, I'll be just like a class test. It should be me being able to gauge what I know. Mm. Because mm-hmm. being a doctor, I'll not walk it off straight my notes. Yes. I mean, I'll just be a Christian. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you. I do not want to be that kind of a doctor. Mm. I want to be someone competent. Yes. And if there's Compete, a better yeah. way of, of like, Assessing not only the teacher assessing but assessing myself mm-hmm. and assessing how much I've taken in, mm-hmm. how much I've understood, and how much can this or not. This is the only way I can. This is the only avenue I have. Wow. So at the end of the day, when I take the paper, I'm like, oh, oh, I should not think like this. Yes. Mm-hmm. I should not have like, do, I should not do this. Mm-hmm. And good thing about this is when you get something wrong, you'll never forget. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That that has mm-hmm. to me. If yeah. I get something wrong, as mm-hmm. long as I did it myself. Yeah. I don't don't forget. Yeah. So the fact that number one the motivation, number one uh, is being good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very good motivation. And number two, being a Christian, that thing will haunt me for yes. life. Yeah. And number three is is whatever I get, I know this is me. If if there's something I have to work on, yes. I know this is what I have to work on. Mm-hmm. You know that that those three have been the biggest motivation because that that ideally in my thirty mm-hmm. is the one place I can very easily compromise. Mm-hmm. Very easily. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Plus also it it, it kind of uh, tends your name because uh, in a school setup because I saw this when I was in high school mm. I know the people cheated mm. in our high school exams I know them because number one I was a I was a prefect and then you could see groups you know you could see different groups and you know mm. and they they never like used to hide it in fact some people that were in a place of authority helped them out. Mm. And I know them up to this point. So Nikonaga <laughs> University, I'm like fake. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know? And you know, so that stays with people. Yeah. So what does you 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 successful, you're out there, yeah, you still like, carry that. Like, you'll always carry that. Yeah. Yeah. Lies will always find a way to find you out. Yeah. You know. Mm. And that's why as Christians we we are we are called to live the truth. Yeah. We're called to follow the truth. Jesus himself says is the way, the truth. Yeah. And the life. the life. The book of Revelation it says that these things that I say as I say unto you are faithful and true. Mm. So it is important that in the setup that we are in, that we live the truth. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. How how has that experience been with you? For me about how how the compromise and then compromise. also the cheating on exams. Wow. And how many have you cheated on? <laughs> so that like we can just like get over with it. <laughs> 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 yeah, so for me, I think one way that I, uh, one thing that I do, first of all, I ensure people know my stand. Mm. Like I don't Amen. hide mm. anything That's about good. me. That's good. I ensure people know my yes, stand. Yeah. So for example, I have many friends mm. and not all of them are actually born again. Mm. But one thing that I ensure that they actually know, 
they know Manu is born again. They know Manu does not drink. Mm. They know Manu does not go to parties. Mm. And so, actually... You don't go to parties? Bad parties. Evil parties. Evil parties. Yeah. yeah. And so, uh, because they know that, yes. like, if, if they have... If they have good parties, they'll actually call me. Yeah. But if they actually know, uh, I think this party that we're actually doing will actually have some is drugs. Man, no? they Definitely, they know Isia yeah. Mano. Yeah. Or even sometimes, if they maybe want to, maybe they want to get drunk yeah. or something, mm-hmm. they cannot actually get drunk in front of me. Mm-hmm. They cannot. They cannot even cast in front of Manu because they know Manu doesn't love this and Manu does not do this. And so I think actually that is one thing that has actually helped me a lot, ensuring that people know my stand. Mm -hmm. And so even when I'm actually in such an environment which is somehow compromising, Mm -hmm. now that helps me. And now even just as Joy said, like Mm -hmm. having, like standing by your principle, just staying there and standing by your principle if it's Mm -hmm. that uh, cheating in exams. Now coming to that part of mm. cheating in exams. Mm. Before you continue on the cheating on the exams, yeah, because it is very important. Yeah. Today on this episode of cheaters, <laughs> 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 we're going to go on a short break. And yeah. Short. And then and wow, wow, wow. wow. The pot, do you do you want me like to give you some time? <laughs> we, we do the performance because we made a contest for your pants and poetry right there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're going to come back on that and then uh, wrap up this conversation. So, yeah. yeah. Cheating on exams. Yeah. Uh, before we went on a break, and and, and you're talking about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so when I was in high school now, uh, so from one, from two, from three, I was not a good performer. Yeah. Like not only the first exam year from one, which mm-hmm. everybody get gets an A. Yeah. I had a C plus. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And so yeah. now from the C plus, it went down, down. I think by form two, I was at. D minor, mm. and so I actually sustained that. Mm. Yeah, it was sustained. D minor. Yes. D minor. So like th- that, that was actually my level. Yeah. I remember actually in form three, like second time I had an E. Mm. Then, eh, then I improved back to D minor, mm. and so. Uh, I love. I love. Uh, let me say something before, yeah. before we continue. I I love this guy's confidence. <laughs> so many people want to put that out there. Yeah. You know, we usually we usually want to look better than we are, uh-huh. which is if you ask me more like a mistake uh, the best thing you can ever do is mm-hmm. to be real to be yourself be you. to, be, to be truth because usually think truth is just what like you know you're not supposed to be doing and all that mm-hmm. but also like live the truth yeah. you know like uh, the other episode that we're doing with Jake and we're putting our lives out there and we're saying you know, and <laughs> yeah, you're true. also part of that I was day. part of it actually you know uh, living the truth is so so important mm. like yes Jake also has cheated also in exams mm-hmm so many times in school. He said that, he shouted that <laughs> behind the camera. Um, I had so, a nice call. So you, you also did, right? And it killed me, that's why I stopped. It because was once, it was yeah. a one-time thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oof. Actually didn't, actually didn't. Mm-hmm. I was, I was... It was a one-time thing and it mm-hmm. messed me up so bad. I was yes. like, I'm never going back again. I'm <laughs> <laughs> never going back to this seat. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, and so considering I was not a good performer, mm-hmm. uh, now from from four, mm-hmm. People used to call me Toto mm. <laughs> yeah, of because course, of yeah. my height. Yeah, yeah, and so people yeah. are like, ah, Toto, like my friends. I used to tell my friend if we, if they did, did you used to feel like uncomfortable me. about that? Because I remember people calling you that in high school about Toto. Yeah, and you and you're very tiny, man. Like you're very small, <laughs> extreme, yeah, extremely small. <laughs> yes. Yeah. In fact, yeah. after you know, after we left high school and all that, yeah. yeah. After we left, and then like I met you the first time, I I, I didn't recognize you because like you had grown that uh, yeah, uh-huh. so much. Yeah, so I I don't think it actually 
like I was actually feeling bad about it. Mm. I think I embraced it at some point. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, this is inevitable. Uh, mm, yeah, like to the point that actually after high school, yeah. I used to take photos. And I you even yourself head of photography. Pho- photography. Yeah, it was photography. photography, but later on I changed. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, I think the name Toto ah. was actually okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I agree fun. actually. <laughs> yes. The one of my take, just just for you. I know you just for you. Yeah, and so pe- people will ask me, yeah, Toto like Kukoshua when the league when we nini during KCC okay. if you have the leakage, you will not cheat yes, yeah. because during the cards I never. Mm. I never used to, t- to cheat. Mm. And so you embrace Isaac. Kabisa. Yeah, Kama and I was Isaac. actually see at in Kwani Mjikubali at ah. I was actually working on it. Uh-huh. See at I was actually in Kwani Mjikubali at So I was actually working on that and pe- people would ask me, "Toto, are you sure that you will not cheat in these exams?" Mm. I told them, "Me ni ko sure, me si cheat." And one thing that I actually told God like reading in the bible story akina shadrach meshach and abednego mm. how how they decided to actually stand with god yes. and even like when they were asked just bow down to your mm. from this fire like they you decided you're, to you're, still you all you all can take a walk <laughs> we'll take a stand <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yes. they still decided to stand with god yes. and uh, and go deliver it, it, even even if the then you need the fire will actually burn us mm. still we are still going to trust mm. in god what is the worst you can do take us to heaven Ha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fire. Exactly. Yeah. The fire. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and so like for me now I, I used to tell myself even if I get now instead of a D minus even if even if I get an E mm. or a Y whatever mm. it is mm. I'll still not cheat. Mm. And so now come the KCSE. Mm. The KCSE began we began with French. Mm. Everybody had leakage actually my year 2015. Mm. It was the worst. Uh, it was the worst. Yeah, na kumbuka. That is right here. That is right here. The year. Like, actually in our school I think we were actually 276 mm. students doing mm. the KCC. Mm. And uh, during that period I think around two of us mm. who never leaked out of the 276 students. And I used to have my friends whom we used to discuss together with uh we are we are mm. we are revising together mm. but now during the KCSC mm. because i was not leaking mm. i used to read alone mm. i'll go to a certain stairs in the home science lab somewhere yes, I, yeah. i used to go there and just read and then after reading i'll just tell god god me uh, i'm not cheating so me i've done my part god i'm i'm trusting you in this mm. and we went to french french was the first one and because i had not actually looked at the leakage and everything it hey, mengi exam kila mtu ako Then after the exam people are just coming like exam ya kujo unaangalia So after the exam like everybody is like sinilikwambia sinikwambia ni mjinga sana ni 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 so despite that next kwanza ilikuwa maths na maths mean ilikuwa ga 2e still i decided i'll not leak at i maths and still not bro easy easy umesema mingi after the concern for you for the past time yeah and so I, I still decided not to leak no matter the situation I was in and uh, so the whole three weeks I, I think the KCC is normally for like three mm. or four weeks mm. I, I, I was actually feeling alone which, which I usually think is, is uh-huh. it's too long man yeah. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah so I felt so bad like the fact that I was actually alone mm. and uh, e- even my friends actually at a particular point my friends came and took me like uh, Uh, they are finished revising mm. and so it's like 10 minutes to or like to some exam. 20 minutes to the exam mm. and I've actually come to the exam room they actually came and held my hands and my feet wakanishika wakani like walinishika i think like four people they started reading the answers to the exams <laughs> They actually did this and these are actually my friends like naambi hapa na mr kikitu they actually held my hands i think it was actually a biology walinishika wakanifunga wakaanza sasa kusoma Mimi niliwaambia like after that niliwaambia okay sawa najua you are my friends but mjua hapo mjanifanyia poa. And I think one thing that even encourages me even till date. Yaani shetani alikuwa anaitaka yaani acha they actually went to that extent. Mm. A certain guy I think he was the head boy mm. of our school that time. Mm. Eh uh, alikuja akaniambia Toto Toto nakwambia eh, one in this life mm. issue le kama kuna mtu sita sahau is actually you mm. because of the fact like you are not a good performer but still you have actually decided not to leak mm. in my life i'll never forget that amen wow 
and I even meet him in town mm. and uh, I remember actually my friends when you were in Chicago me go mm. now when the KCC came and people got the result like mtu alikuwa anaangalia results yake alafu anaangalia ya toto and say toto umepata nini like they just expecting the e and they actually got a C minor mm. say C minor wow. for me that was actually big so thing. big yes. and like nilikuwa na miracle kaya. actually it was a miracle for wow. me and uh, I remember my friends when you were coming in Chicago me go mm. Instead of them even getting that A, they actually uh, one of them actually got a C stand. I'm with a C minor. He got a C stand. He's a Christian. We used to go together with him to the CU and everything. Mm-hmm. And so he started telling me like, uh, "Eh, Manu, enyewe, mm-hmm. I got that is also need to put a A. I've already compromised, but still others just pass." Don't get me started with meaning guys. <laughs> yeah, like I've already compromised, but still I never mm-hmm. passed. I, I mm-hmm. have a C. You have a C minor. Yeah so like one thing that I love about that story is that I know and I say this a lot this is a story I'll be telling my kids mm, yeah. <laughs> at least like even right now when you're going to say like that guilt mm. that, that guilt I kwa get zile za sasa ni like I want to be a journalist ni kwa na hii minor here yeah, yeah I have my diploma in mass mm. communication I'm currently wow. doing my degree we already doing YouTube and making yes, videos yeah. everywhere yeah. Nobody knows that Manu got a C minor. Nobody mm. knows that Manu was a poor performer. Mm. Yeah, that well, is. Well, now they do, but you know. now they do. <laughs> under, <laughs> under, under, under special revelation. Yes. Yeah, under special revelation. That is amazing. That's an amazing story. That is a story of victory. <laughs> yeah. And I celebrate that and I celebrate you, you know. Thank you. Well, I've known you a long time, yeah. you know. Uh, I've known you a long time. <laughs> you know uh, you are people that I'm very proud about mm. in my life. You're people that I look back and I look at you guys and I'm like If this is the next generation that you know uh, are coming the generation of Christians mm. then I think we are safe yeah. you know we, we, like we have a remnant yeah, you know we have a yeah, remnant true. so uh, I celebrate you guys a lot and just you know in closing what would be your not advice but more like an encouragement to your brothers and sisters especially in the universities maybe they're just starting maybe they just got born again last week last month people get born again or people get born again and then re- watch this and they're like you know I'm in the university and I'm struggling you know yeah. this christianity thing everybody's compromising you know uh, I'm I'm alone in this what will be what will you tell them looking at this camera right here <laughs> you make me feel like a motivation I know right please drop it I'll I'll, I'll put it so simply mm. is that the moment you decide to take your stand and people know it people will respect it that is that is like the plain truth it will be something that will be respected like people will know there's 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 a line i can't cross with this person you know there's there are things i can do like there are things i can't tell them there are places mm. i cannot invite them mm. so it's not it's going to be hard i'd say especially if you're not preoccupied but I'd, I'd suggest you just get yourself in activities that yeah. will help you yeah. a whole lot of activities mm. plus it's fun you make mm. friends make mm-hmm. connections point is <laughs> <laughs> point is yes. have number one have things that keep you busy and say avoid idleness at all costs Amen. because that is where everything starts yes. from yeah. so it roots from That's and number two number two is stand it is going to be hard not it might it will be hard we but promise. we said it's we going promise. to be hard that's our promise hard. it's true so that please that, that's a good yeah. point right there because if people we get promise. lost out here like yeah. you know this fun in jesus yeah. come let's have fun you know mm-hmm. it's gonna be we gotta be dropping it it's gonna be rocking it's gonna be rocking no 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 no, no. no. stop the camera well. no. stop rolling yeah. let's start again delete all those videos let's yeah. start again it's yes. going to be hard we promise we it's promise. going to be hard that's our but promise but trust us but there's <laughs> be there, yes. but standing amen you'll be proud that you stood amen because number one you'll grow mm-hmm. and number two you'll make a statement that people never forget mm-hmm. that's it and Christ will reward you uh, and yeah. number three the most the bible says that the person yeah. the person who does not you know deny him in this generation mm. he will also mm approve him you mm-hmm. know before his father and his holy angels mm-hmm. right. he will yeah. confess him before his yeah. father and his yes. holy angels that is worth standing for yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so you'll be proud of yourself you'll grow mm-hmm. and you not only grow people will notice it and mm-hmm. they'll learn from it mm-hmm. as much as it will be hard you just stand amen amen i just rhymed yeah. 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 some people are standing right now because we stood some yeah. people are standing because yeah. we stood true true, true. Yes. That's true. true. Yeah. yeah yeah for me i think what i can say is uh 
to uh, those of us watching uh, like wherever you are in whichever area God has actually placed whatever you <laughs> God has actually placed you in that area so that you can represent him mm. for me that is how I actually view every like even being here yes. actually yeah. representing mm. Christ here Amen. Yeah. Yeah. me being in that campus I'm actually representing mm. Christ in campus mm. Mm. And so like sometimes I, I, I get to look at it uh, like uh, <laughs> considering I'm representing Christ, is this the same things that Christ would actually do here? Wow. Because I'm actually representing Christ there in campus. Yes. And so wherever you are, just know that you're actually representing Christ there. And uh, yes, just as Joy said, people are actually looking at you. They'll never say, mm. they'll never come to you and tell you, hey, but mm. means, okay, maybe some will. There's a cloud of witnesses. <laughs> some yeah. will come to mm. you, but there's someone actually watching you. And mm. Jerry, as you said, mm. uh, some people are standing because we stood. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so people are actually looking up to you. Mm. And uh, above all, God has actually placed you there so that you can actually represent him there. Yeah. yeah. Amen. So please, people are watching, the cloud of witnesses, people are watching. Walk, just walk right. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much. Thank you, Manu. Thank, thank you. Thank you, uh, Joy. And uh, is coronavirus a hoax? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> yes, <I'm just> kidding. <laughs> That's what gets you to conspiracy theories. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> yes, yeah. And please do all those kind of things. Yes. Mm. Thank you guys very, very much for coming in. Uh, I think, you know, I, I tell every single guest that comes in that we'll continue this conversation. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we'll have you back in. You yeah. know, and maybe so some club pequeños are like, we just break down things. Mm. But I just wanted to have both of you here. Until next time grace upon you. Good. So to qualify is impossible doesn't mean we qualify to enter the narrow gate of heaven. The same way to kick a lia railway ways lose weight GOC could train just trust in God and don't lose your focus yet to Nendesha by Skelly. Your focus I fight queen, your name being written in the Guinness Book of Records, but rather being found in the Lamb's Book of Life. And so Christ, Christ is all you need in your life. Life be like Christ, nika, maize come be seeds, nika, blind soldier fighting a terrorist, nika, the world be like wena mimi. Who Christ I come a kina my soul and I'm not complaining. G end of the reason I can clap, snap, lift my hands up, his love's unfailing. Who Christ and I drive crazy at us, yes, on a road, signs, watch out, slippery flow of love that may fall in love na ye. And so for me, I'm not interested in Facebook or Twitter. I'm interested in WhatsApp. That's the source of my love, peace, and hope. And so mini kondanya Christ, ka blue band and yam cartes in is the bread of line. I mean, do be yani wife, me and you, we are the bride of Christ. And so prepare for his coming, his near, and I could jambi, yani, and and you know for you to go to heaven it's not about how good you are it's not only about your deeds but it's about your personal relationship with Christ. The same way Prophet Elijah kwa iva suti lakini chakula seliletewa na tai na kuna siku toona watu wakiosha ngombe lakini jioni kifika si wanakamua and so si lazima ni goje 7 ama 9 si habari nilio kuletea ni habari njema si lazima niweke kama breaking news no juu muhimu wake si hali kufa na kafufuka so hii relationship asha ijenga oh poles ya kueleza kuhusu hii relationship hii nile design si wenda kukula kwa rusi ya tijunia nani so skiza Sikiza nkweleza kusu hii relationship enye bride na groom awalishani pete. Sikiza nkweleza kusu hii relationship enye bride groom alimpenda bride ato before azaliwe. Sikiza nkweleza kusu hii relationship enye bride price ililipo ato before bride azaliwe. Sikiza nkweleza kusu hii relationship enye vaos zake. Sika maza normal wedding such a we love you in riches and in poverty, in health and in sickness till death do us part si. Huko akunanga kusota, akunanga ugonjwa, akunanga ukoma si. Huko tutaishi milele na milele pamoja na Yesu Christo so sikiza. Sikiza nkweleza kusu hii relationship. Enyarusi yake ina flower girl sama page boys. Because pia wawa wanolewa. And so God made the heavens and the earth. He made the sun, moon, stars, mountain, falls of the air, beasts of the sea. And God made man with his own hands and placed him in the garden of Eden. And God made Eve for man, but man disobeyed God. And so God instructed Noah to build an ark to save us from the oncoming floods. He set us free from slavery in Egypt. He brought the walls of Jericho crumbling down. He gave us victory over our enemies, victory over Goliath. But still, we disobeyed God and worshipped other idols. 
And so God, and so God gave life to dry bones in a valley he made us walk freely in the fire he shut the mouth of the lion and more importantly sent his son Christ to come and die for us. But what did we do? We rejected Christ and suffered him before Pilate. See, he was sent to Herod and then back to Pilate. Instead of him, we released a pirate. Oh, sorry, a thief, Barabbas. And so his hands were tied, stripped naked, thus his privacy denied, beaten with a whip with hooks on the end, and with every lash his back was crushed, not once but 39 plus times. And not because of what he did, but because of what we did and what we are still doing. And so with the same crashed back, he carries a heavy cross up, Golgotha Sea. There were no vehicles at that time, but nails were driven through his hands and feet. And not because of what he did, but because of what we did and what we are still doing. And so I'd like to pose this question to each and every one of us. If your life, or if my life, was to be placed on one end of a seesaw, and the love of Christ on the other end, will there be a balance? Please don't answer me. Na juwa ni kisema hivi na kukwaza, I'm sorry, I can't apologize kwani. Sipia post your steam, kichoka iwezi exchange na waya na. Kitamo ndo tupite kiswa hili lazima tunge exchange riwaya. See, I felt so much disconnected from God, but Christ alikama kani riwaya. Nda mota taprisa kuna mtu anaweza ni haya. See, back to my story, when Christ was crucified, he was not crucified with a frowned face looking at us, but actually he was crucified with his arms wide open, ready to welcome us back into his kingdom. And therefore I'm now convinced that nothing can ever separate us from the love of God. Neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow, nothing can ever separate us from the love of God revealed through Jesus Christ our Lord. And because he died and rose again, he has now changed the story. And therefore it's not because of what we did. It's not because of what we are doing. But it's all because of what he did on the cross. My prayer is that God may reveal this relationship to each and every one of us. For there is nothing unfortunate as being absent at your marriage in your wedding day. Thank you very much for joining us today and until next time share this uh, this show with your friends with the people around you if you are a christian in the university setup and this has encouraged you this has kind of given you some sort of strength has rebuked you also has corrected you has challenged you leave it on the comment section please tell us or you know you can just get to our inbox directly you know we have our numbers down there numbers down there and if you want to get into contact with any any person from the show we usually leave their contacts manu has a youtube channel called life probe we leave the uh, the link there you can go check you know his stuff out he's a christian, christian creative and uh, yeah we're very very passionate about christian creatives in our ministry and beyond so until next time grace upon you jk kuja Special appearance is, is by the DOP.
Mwanjozi 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 mwan